Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. We got a box from CGC. Let's open up and see what's inside. Alright, so books come back from CGC. This is a uh, box of four books that I sent in uh, using their Economy Fast Pass. So this is one of the first sets of books I've sent to CGC since I canceled my subscription or my membership with them oh, last year when I had switched everything over to CBCS. CBCS unfortunately has since had their lead times go out the wazoo. They've jacked their prices up ridiculously high. Their lead times have gotten out of control. Uh, and CGC's got theirs back under control uh, to where, uh, for the most part, I mean, it's still a, almost a year to get back economy uh, books uh, that aren't fast pass. And what I mean, in the economy, that's the under $400 uh, FMV, but older than 1975 or 76 something like that um <clears throat> which a lot of i have a lot of books that kind of fall in that range um anyway so these were fast passed uh which was supposed to be 41 business days which if we do our math ladies and gentlemen is like 57 i think it was or wait uh let's see 41 57.4 uh days calendar days because you got to take your 41 times five that gives you how many weeks now take that number of weeks multiply by seven that gets your actual days so 57.4 days this took 55 days so they hit their goal uh less than two months i'm happy with that all right uh let's go ahead and crack her open and see what we got inside here well i know what's inside we'll see how we did because that's what i don't know I'll try to see if I can remember um, what we did, and we'll see how we did on the grades. All right. CGC, pretty straightforward. Four boxes, four books banded together. All right. All right, these are all going to be some oldies here. Mm -hmm. Wow, the backside of this looks just beautiful. All right, so, all right. Amazing Spider-Man number eight. This book looks sexy. I mean, you can see there's obviously a lot of spine, um, spine ticks. And that's going to kill it uh, at the end of the day. But uh, other than that, the book looks really, really good. Um, a little bit of um, some light staining stuff up in here. But um, I remember looking at this book before I sent out and hoping to get like a four, a three, five, four, I think it was. Um, is it? Oh, we got three five. So there we go. That's what I, I'm pretty sure that's where the range I was expecting it to come in at uh, because there's just so much um, spine wear there. So this is the first appearance of the living brain uh, and a Fantastic Four appearance in the background uh, story. It is a Stan Lee story with Ditko and Kirby art. So Kirby and Ditko and Stan, the Holy Trinity on this book right here probably um one of those great books you can pick up i mean they're in this one's one of the last this uh, seven and eight are like the two inexpensive inexpensive we use that in quotes um AS, asm sub 10 books well i guess number 10 also but um all right so let's see here so this one wow this one's rough on the back side um, from a coloration and staining aspect of everything was oh, oh okay yeah yeah all right so this is golden age black hood uh center art looks really good obviously a lot of spine ticks this is uh mlj comics this becomes uh archie comics 
You can see there's a massive, oops, over here, massive uh, crease, a color breaking crease that runs from right about here all the way up to the top. Um, so, and then on the back side, we have a lot of tanning and everything else. So, this all said and done, I've probably, it's probably like a 225. Um, all right cool I like that so we have a 3.0 cream to off-white pages uh, flying dragoons backup story uh, this is from the fall of 1944 all right in the heart of the war Oof. all right next up this is another one that's, uh, oh, this is, wow, this has got a lot of spine roll. That's too bad. Major spine roll. Alright, well, I mean, still presents super good. So, I set out a goal this year that I want I didn't pick out specific books that I targeted but I did pick out like one of my goals was I said I wanted to make sure that I owned a planet comics book uh, which we knocked that off the list and I wanted to get a Schomburg uh, covered book other than uh, the giant size invaders annual number one I wanted to get a you know World War two era uh schomburg book now i wasn't going to be able to ever land myself a captain america schomburg that's a lot of money and i'm not despite what some people think i'm not made of it i don't have rolling over hand over fist i'm a frugal buyer uh so i managed to pick up the startling comics earlier this year and luck be have it uh, I managed to pick up a second Schomburg cover this year. Uh, picked up the Fighting Yank. It's just a fun cover, jumping in to catch the woman that's being or help the woman that's being attacked by a shark. Uh, this is the Fighting Fighting Yank uh, issue uh, number twenty. Um, it's an airbrushed cover. Uh, it has a lot of staining on the cover, as you can see, um, and it's it's got some got some wear to it. Uh, the big issue when I got it and was flipping through the pages, uh, there were some holes in some of the pages, um, and one of them I'm really kind of iffy on. So I was I'm you know one five two. Probably and it was what I was kind of thinking because of the page damage. Um, this looks really good though, so maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe I'm over over picky and painful. Let's find out. Two five. All right. So there you go. Uh, two five. And it's noted on here that a piece uh, out of page seven. So this is now their new well, kind of what they're doing, right? Um, actually, let's see if I can get that to zoom in. There you go. Peace out of page seven. Uh, it does not affect story, though. Um, and then, of course, they got their QRs on the back, so you can read the creator's notes. Uh, just like this. So this is off-white to white pages. Uh, Fighting Yank, May 1947. Brilliant. Another Schomburg book. Whew. All right. Last book. Um, <laughs> what was this? What was this book? Huh, I don't remember. All right, let's let's see here. So I'm looking at the back side. Oh, is this a Flash Gordon book? Maybe. Oh, okay. So Flash Gordon. This is the first, uh, as far as I can tell. So if you know different, please let me know. But it is my understanding this is the first, as it says right on it, introducing for the first time Flash Gordon comics specially written and drawn for this book. Previously, all Flash Gordon comic books 
were taking stories that had already been published in this in the dailies or newspapers uh, and compiled them together into a comic book story. Uh, this is, according to this, the first time we get Flash Gordon comics that are written just for this and is not lifted from comic book pages. So that's a key right there. Uh, this is Dell uh, Four Color uh, number 173 from November 1947. Uh, the only thing it says up here in the upper corner is Flash Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, all right, off white to white pages, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this book, I was, I was hoping, uh, to get a five, five or a six. Um, that's like the dream on it. Um, although there's a pretty significant corner chunk there. Um, otherwise it looks, oh, there's a hole in the back cover. Shoot. There's an insect, there's like an insect. I don't know, let's see if it's going to show up, but like right in, I can't get it to show up. But there's a little insect chew or something there. All right, well, what do we get? A 5.0. I will take that and love that all day long. 5.0 off white white pages uh Paul Norris cover and art November 1947 Let's see if you look that good when you're 75 years old right am I doing math right uh 47 80 87 you'd be 75 years old yeah I can do math bam flash gordon 75 years old Whew. That is some space goodness right there. Uh, oh, no, no bubble helmets, but we do have a little blast uh, gun. I bet Flash Gordon not really known for the bubble helmets, except for maybe like, oh, oh that one. There. We got ourselves our Schomburg. We got ourselves a World War II superhero book. And we got ourselves a Sub-10 ASM. Which one's the best? Which one's your favorite? You got to like and comment and all that other fun stuff. So let me know what you thought. Um, also, guys, don't want to. I want to remind you coming up, October 21st through the 23rd, Comics Curing Cancer in partnership with the American Cancer Society. You can uh, keep tuning in to myself to get details as it comes out. Three days be. Event activities from the comic book community, sales, auctions, opportunities to to win prizes, but most importantly, we'll be raising money for the American Cancer Society because cancer is the real villain. All right, until next time, guys, collect what you want. Don't listen to anybody, including myself. I mean, I'm just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.